few weeks ago, I went and saw Dune 2. And, and Brandon Sanderson just so happened to be, like, I, was, I stopped to get popcorn. And I see Brandon. And I'm like, <gasps> and my wife sees him. And she, she does this. <laughs> For those of you just Turns listening. Yeah, it was a slow Palpatine turn where you, you know, <laughs> slowly turn. And she, she looks at him and I look at her. And <laughs> Anyway. Well, we got our popcorn and I, I said a little prayer in my heart. I was like, I really want to meet this guy. Like, please, universe, <laughs> manifest it so that he walks my way. Because because he could either walk, walk my way to get like nachos and a drink or he could walk to the theater if he had his popcorn and it was good. I was so happy he needed his nachos or whatever it was he ordered. <laughs> and so he walked by me and I just go, hey, Brandon, you here to see <laughs> Madam really Webb? <laughs> No. Okay, good. <laughs> that was like my uh, Newman voice from Seinfeld. <laughs> nice game, pretty boy. <laughs> no, I, what I did. Okay, I did say that though. I said, "Hey, Brandon, are you here to see Madam Web?" <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. That is and actually Brandon, for you, clever. <laughs> Brandon. So, well, here's the thing: is I had I was like four people behind him in line, so I had time to think of a funny thing okay, to good, say. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm like Batman of writing, except for like not, you know, like Batman, <laughs> like one tenth of Batman is like, you know, one hundredth. Yeah. Anyway, so he stops. He's so kind. He's like, no, but I really want to see it, actually, just so I can like do he wants to do like a story, you know, like evaluation of it because it's so bad. Sort of. a Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a hate follow that people that follow us hatefully. We get it. It's like we watching watch. the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Anyway, we started talking and eventually I was like, all right, well, I need to let this guy go because he gets, you know, he gets bombarded by people. So I, I sort of, we talked about a few things. My neighbor and him went to college together and are really good friends. And so he was telling me about how my neighbor, the guy, so I'm pretty good friends with this neighbor. And he's like, he's my only friend who won't let me put him in my books for whatever reason. So mm-hmm. he was kind of giving me that story and we were chatting and you know, I'm I'm not even hearing a word. I'm just staring into his eyes, like <laughs> the whole dream weaver that uh, Wayne's world just keeps in here, just all starry eyed, and <laughs> yeah, he will be my guest one day. Oh yeah, he will be my guest one day. Yeah, I was just grateful that like, <laughs> well here. So here's the other funny part, though. So we get into the theater. We we had this great conversation with him for you know maybe a minute. Yeah, uh, and then I let him go. Well, what I thought was great was I left him wanting more because ah, I actually yes. ended it. Yes. I'm so sweet. <laughs> but we get playing into the hard theater. To get. Exactly. Playing hard to get. I want to I want to meet him again and be like, do you remember me? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Madam yeah, Webb joke? <laughs> Dune too? <laughs> he might oh, yes. because I'm I'm kind of memorable, you know. He's just gonna be like But back to Brandon. So this is the, the final funny part of the story. And then we'll get back to Evermore Park <laughs> and Brandon buying it. Um so we get in, we 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 sit in our seats, and the two seats next to me are totally open. And they keep staying open. And I'm like, they're luxury seats because, you okay. know, you know okay. me. Oh, I need my luxury. You uh, you go all out. Yeah. Well, you I, do. It's, I, it's harder for you with the leg room, man. It's easy for me. I can sit anywhere. Yeah, you? <laughs> I, I just, what it is is I actually like just being closer to the screen. So <laughs> <laughs> the luxury just so happened to be like the best seats in terms for me to just be able to not even see the edges of my you vision. just treat yourself. Yeah, exactly. So the whole time I was like, what if he sits next to me? <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm just like whispering in his ear and he just gets up and leaves. It cuts out. Uh, we They pan out and all it is is you staring at him and not the movie at all. Just yeah. <laughs> I've tilted my seat back far enough so like I can just glare the night away. Oh, that would be so bad. He did not sit next to me. No, I watched him when he walked in. I was staring at him, tracking him. <laughs> and he kept walking up the stairs and I went, ah! <laughs> Too open next to me, Brandon. I know. I was going to say that. Uh, uh. So, yeah. It-